Hi boys and girls, how are you? I hope you're okay. I hope you treated moms well last week. Some of you, I hope you gave them tea in bed, cut a cake, gave them flowers like I said, okay? I hope you did that. Now, thank you uh, again for joining us today. Now, boys and girls, if you want to grow as a Christian, there are certain things you must do. You must pray. You must read your Bible. Okay? Pray, read your Bible, obey what it says. Tell somebody about Jesus. Okay? If Jesus has done something good for you, tell somebody about Jesus. And the last one is go to church. Okay? If you want to grow. Uncle, how can we go to church? We are stuck at home. Yes, you can have church at home. You can have it with mom or dad or everyone, whoever is at home. You can say, let's pray. Let's read God's word. That's the Bible. I have hidden your word in my heart so that I may not sin against thee. Okay? When you've read the Bible, you must obey what it says. And then tell somebody about Jesus. You can ask mom for a WhatsApp or you can call them. And then finally go to church, what we are doing right now. Remember the guy we talked about last week, who Jacob's ladder, where there was all this uh, seeing angels going up and down, and they said, the Lord is in this place, and I didn't know it. Well, we are continuing about Jacob today. There's something important I want you to learn today. Uh, this thing will help you when you grow up, if you just learn it when you are young. So... Boys and girls, I'm not going to read the whole story. I'll just tell you about it. You find in Genesis 29, okay, that story. So Jacob goes, he visits um, his mother's brother, okay. So gets there. Uh, remember, he was running away from his brother. He had cheated his brother of his birthright, porridge stuff and then he had cheated his father for the blessing which was meant for his brother Esau now he's running away because Jacob was very angry sorry Esau was very angry with Jacob so Jacob is running away last week the Jacob's ladder thing you saw uh, he was uh, having this vision now he has managed to get to the mother's brother well, so he wanted a wife, okay? So he managed to convince uh, someone called Laban that he wanted to marry Russia, okay? So he was supposed to work for something like seven years. Seven years is a long time. He was supposed to work for that time, and after that you'd get his wife. But guess what happened? Laban cheated Jacob. Um, not good. And during that time, there was also something which Jacob did to Laban. But anyway, he was asked to work for another seven years to get the wife. He really wanted Russia because after seven years he was given Leah, but he had to work for another time so that he could get um, Russia. Now, what I really want to talk about, boys and girls, is there are times as human beings, as people, we are not nice to each other. We hate one another. We do wrong things to one another. Now, you know that Jesus doesn't like that. When you hate your brother, when you hate your sister, when you hurt mom or dad, when we steal something and say, uh, you steal, you cause hurt in other people. Now, it's not a good thing. The Bible tells us that we must love one another. Now, so when you hurt someone, like what Jacob did to Esau, or what Laban did to Jacob, and what Jacob did, if you don't learn to say, I am sorry, I'm sorry I hurt you, 
boys and girls, this thing keeps going and going and going. I have also heard some boys and girls saying, he started it. So you punch your little brother or your little sister because your brother or little sister punched you. Now, that's not good. The Bible talks about in Romans chapter 12, verse 19, the Lord is the one who will revenge. Don't revenge. It's, it's his to revenge. Do not be overcome by bad things, by evil. You must overcome evil with good. You must learn to say, I am sorry, mom, I broke your cup. I am sorry, mom, I made a mistake. I bumped into that, the, the glass, and it broke. I am sorry, dad, I spilled your tea. I am sorry I spoiled your work. I didn't know that that paper was very important. I'm sorry I tore it. Look at someone next to you and say, learn to say, I am sorry. Those are important words, boys and girls, which we must learn today. To apologize when you make a mistake, to say, I am sorry. If you learn to do that when you are small, it's going to help you as you grow up in the Lord. As you, you, if you, because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to do things that hurt other people. But if you don't learn to say, I am sorry, it's going to be difficult. And if someone says to you, I am sorry, don't think about wanting to revenge. No. As Christians, we don't play those games. We don't revenge. Because the Lord says, it's mine to revenge. Now, if you get God to do the revenging part, yours is to love even those people who have messed you up. Are we together, boys and girls? I want you to repeat this after me. I want to learn to say, I am sorry. I didn't hear that. Can you do it again? I am sorry. Let's not be like Jacob. Let's not be like Laban. Okay? And also don't be like Esau. You remember Esau wanted to kill Jacob. That's why Jacob had to run away. Because he had been hurt by Jacob. Jacob didn't say, I'm sorry. But now this guy wanted to revenge. Revenge by killing no, 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 no. Not good. Boys and girls, we must learn to say, I am sorry. And if somebody says, I am sorry, you must say, I forgive you. Okay? Good. So, boys and girls, I just want you to know that the Lord will not abandon us, even during this time. The promise he made to um, Jacob when he says, I'm going to be with you. Remember the memory verse in Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go. The Lord is watching us even during this COVID time. Some of you cannot go to school, but the Lord is watching over us. He loves us so much that he cares. So Genesis 28 verse 15, let's go again together. I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go. Can you say that? I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go. So boys and girls, I pray that the Lord will give you a super week. Okay? Be nice. If someone hurts you, if you hurt somebody, say to them, I am sorry. Okay? Let's learn also to forgive one another if we mess up. But above all, let's love one another. Because the Lord is with us. He's watching over us wherever we go. Let's pray. Lord, I pray for every boy and girl who's listening. There are times where, Lord, we've hurt others. I pray that, Lord, we learn to say, I am sorry. Thank you, Lord, for giving the boys and girls a super week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Uh, see you. <laughs>